Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Foundation. Apologies for no videos uh, the last week. I've had no power in the apartment. They've been fitting um, electrical things. I don't know, like a meter. To, so I have to start paying electricity now, which is unfortunate because I've been having it for free since I moved here. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, they've been putting that in. So the uh, power's been on and off all week. So I've just been out the house and doing other things. Uh, but we're back now anyway, paying for electricity. So quick, let's get this video recorded. <laughs> um, and we're back in foundation. So uh, last episode, I almost forgot what happened. We definitely moved over here. It was mostly like industry stuff, wasn't it? And we did a bigger church, that's right. And I think we set up cheese. We have 250 wheels of cheese. We don't have much bread, but it looks like... It, the the rain definitely doesn't help there, uh, but fish and cheese and um, we continue to make a small attempt at berries. I think I saw berries over here, so we can we will maybe get some more berries in. What did you buy, Owen? There wants to buy shirts. Did you not buy any shirts while you were here? Maybe you bought some shirts. I don't know. Maybe we're not selling shirts. Huh? Let's check. We're by, let's check. We're selling shirts. Resources. Common clothes. Sell above 50. Oh, yeah, so that might be right then. We have 55 in at the moment, so we might have just been able to buy a handful. Um, okay, so definitely this week what I would like to work on is a tavern in this space here. It's basically made for it, personally, I feel. So we'll get started on that, and we'll hope the uh, the weather cleans up a little bit later on. What would tavern be under, do you think? Decoration? No. Administration? Yet. Services? No. Well. Is the because it's not really food production. I think it does make some sort of food. We also definitely need to get brewery on the go. If we're making, if we're putting a tavern in, I'll just get it all and just find tea. It's not even alphabetical. That's the problem. We definitely have it unlocked, don't we? Maybe we don't have it unlocked. Okay, uh, estates. Yeah, we have it. We'll unlock that trade bonus as well while we're here. And that one, I'm sure. Uh, we just need citizens and commoners and, oh, and more kingdom. That's right, we were going to work on a keep, weren't we? So where's the tavern? Am I just looking at it wrong? I thought it was like a Tudor-looking building. But it's definitely one of those ones where you can build it up. So it probably looks like one of these. Lord Manor. It's not going to be down there, is it? Lord Manor, wooden keep, church... Rustic Church, Jeweler's Workshop, Gold Smelter, Tailor's Workshop, Weaver Hut, Sheep Farm, Brewery, Hop, Cheese, Dairy, Bakery, Windmill, Wheat, Well, Fishers, Gathers, Glass, Cooperage, Blacksmith, Iron Swords, Charcoal Hut, Stone Mason, Sawmill, Forest Camp, Stone Good Camp, Lumber Mill, Market, Tavern. There it is. Okay. Good. That was far too difficult, but there we go. So we've got doors, we've got walls, we've got all sorts of lovely things. We have a wall, our oh, lovely signs that can go outside of it. What's that? A metal pole, nice. A boar sign, a kitchen. Produces a meat from boar and cheese. I don't think we're making boars just yet. And then there's more stony things. This is a bridge that goes from one side to the other. We can do that over here into this area. Oh, we're going to build the most incredible tavern! Um, okay, so what's the core? Rustic core, stone. No, it's got to be stone core, hasn't it? Is that stone hall? Does that actually class as a core? Mandatory parts is a door. Okay, well, that's good to know. It needs a door. Okay, well, we definitely want to do uh, like a front entrance bit here that, that sits out onto there. So let's bring that up a little. Uh, ah, okay. Okay, this has a door already. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Well, maybe this is maybe this is more this way on then. that there okay now I'm hoping there is a one of these but not not rustic so let's see what our stone set unlocked sky a skylight oh that goes up there oh, that's incredible um, I was hoping just for a like stone building unfortunately uh, whether that's gonna be a possibility Stone extension. Yes, that looks a little bit more like what I want it to look like. Okay. So we'll turn tab off and we'll pop that into there. Kind of messes up that, that uh, window, but 
Not sure what won't. I suppose we could have a I suppose we could have a lean toy type building in between these. How about we do something like that then? How about we go there and then with this one in there? How's that look? Awful. Um Okay. Huh. Okay, I've got it. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. We completely lose this window. There we go. And that now acts as a as an obvious spot for a hearth. So we'll line these up at the front here. Make sure it doesn't look terrible at the back. It doesn't look great. But I think we can deal with it. Maybe they are better if they're next to each other like that. Okay. Uh, doorway. That's more of a back door, isn't it? Really, is there a? So there's gorgeous extension, though. I love that a lot. But what have we got? That's more of a sort of entrance plaza sort of space. Hmm. That's the bridge. Huh. Maybe it's going to have to be that one then, I guess. I suppose we could put some chairs and what have you outside the front of it. It won't look that bad. Okay. Uh, we go for another stone hall here, but at the lower height. Do we? And then another one. At a higher height. Like so. And on the back of this, we can have the, uh, the kitchen. Sticking out like that, I think, what looks pretty good. Because we can turn this into a bit of a stable here as well. Because it's definitely stably parts, isn't it? I'm sure of it. Um, yeah, stables. There we go. Purely decorative, but we'll go nice on the back of there, I think. Like that. There we go. And we'll. Lowers that up a little bit with some fence. And what's that? Are you just a little lean to? Well, there's plenty of places that'll go. Nice. Okay, that's the back done. That looks good. Uh, and then here, we definitely need to have the bridge uh, come across. Into that area will be. There we go. Now, can I remember, for the life of me, how this works? I bet I can't. Uh, do we, will it tab somewhere? No. Okay. So we're going to go from there. Oh, that's kind of how it goes, eh? Okay. Uh, Okay, okay, not terrible actually. Just probably needs these to be another one higher for it, doesn't it? Yeah, that's what needs to happen. Okay, so let's go there and there. Okay, well, I think all of these probably have to come up to meet it then. Okay. Oh, no, you were fine where you were. Are you clicking there, are you? That's okay. Uh, let's now. Hmm. Let's get rid of the bridge and try again. Let's put that in there. There we should be a little 
more able to hmm, still gonna still gonna cause us some issues there, isn't it? That one. Okay, well, we're gonna have to bring all this out for a moment. Pop that to its size. That's probably suits the the roofing better actually as well. This one, well, that's where it wants to end, so perhaps that's where this has to come to now, and the road will just shift a little. Okay. Um, okay, let's see, where will, will that sit anywhere around here and not look awful? No, it probably will there, though. Yeah, that's good. Okay, let's get this kitchen back on. There we go. There's no it doesn't seem to be a door for that kitchen as long as they can get inside. That's all it seems to matter worry about. Uh Maybe this maybe some stables over this side now. have a look. That's a fine building. It's pretty big. Um, there's definitely some pieces we haven't used that I would like to. Um, mainly a, a, probably a higher door up because there's these balconies and I can't really see much of a way in. That's not terrible. Hmm. This house isn't in the best spot for it but hmm I actually do like that there. What about over this side? What about there? Seems to fit quite nicely. Yeah, okay, we'll go for that. Uh, here, we'll just do a normal door in, I think. But we'll probably knock it a bit further back. Go. Uh, see, I really do want one of these in as well, and that's kind of the spot where that would go, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we'll have to have that there. That looks too good. Uh, maybe a door here on the side next to the stables. Probably people can't access that, but we'll see. Okay, here needs something. These are all too big, aren't they? Are they? Oh, are they? Hmm. Actually, don't just hate that plunked into there. Honestly, like, mm, no, it doesn't quite go, does it? It's mm, if that was a little smaller. Oh, here we go. There's a little cabin here. That's cute. There we go. It's just all about layering it up, really. Uh, visitor location is definitely here. There we go. Okay, we have stables, we have that. We do definitely need some more chimneys in the place. Uh, where are we going to get a good old chimney? Here is a good spot for one, I guess. Let's have a look. Yes. Might miss that window. <laughs> No, that doesn't look right. I guess we could just place these high enough to be popping out of the roofs. There's one down. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there is actually a roof chimney. Okay. I quite like those as well, but we could just do more of those, eh? There would be there would be fires all over this place, right? That's that's the whole thing, isn't it? 
Okay, inside. So a metal pole. So I'm hoping this we can attach this to the door somewhere. Where does it want to go? There is where that needs to be, isn't it? And hanging off there. Definitely be a barrel sign. We love it. You know you love it. Uh, the wooden pole. Will that actually click into a wall? Oh. Well, I think I prefer the wooden one to the metal one then, actually, if that's the case. Yeah. I'll put that there. Good. Uh, we definitely need a few of these. Where else will it let me put one? That's a good spot for one. And we'll, I, I like the beer barrel one. That's really my favourite one. There we go. That's going to need 316 planks. We currently have 48. It's going to need 80 polished stone. We currently have enough of that, actually. We're going to need a hell of a lot of tools. We have four tools, so currently we need 140. It's going to need 300 odd regular stone and 25 planks. Well, I'll tell you what. This is almost as big a project as the... Um, <laughs> As the uh, as the church, I do wonder, could we take that off there and replace the gathering hut? No, 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 no. We'll leave it like that. We'll leave it like that. And then I wonder if there's some, I don't know, like tables and chairs we can we can put out at some point. Okay, let's click build. Away it goes. We will see what that looks like upon its return. Well, the weather's got better, and they've um, started to go to work on the tavern, which is great. Um, I do think we probably need some resources for said tavern, though, before we um, before it gets finished. So, uh, I think what we're going to do, how many people we got jobless at the minute? Currently 11. So, let's uh, throw down a couple of builders' workshops over this end of town, because this is going to be our next big expansion. Um, so, I think a builders' workshop... On the side of the, uh... is that going to be a problem there? I don't think it will be, will it? No, nope, we'll say that. Build that. Uh, three builders there, and we'll build another one. See, all this is actually going to be clearing out soon. Uh, so we have the granaries. We've struggled to get them on the side of granaries before, haven't we? Uh, maybe here. This little house here could have one. Hmm, maybe not. Maybe when... It, oh, there's one right there already. Oh, yeah, I literally just put that one down. Nice, John T. Real nice. Um, let's go... Well, I mean, we can just throw it down, can't we? And move it later, I guess. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so let's give us six builders. All right. So here's the plan. This area that we currently ha uh, forest is going to be stripped out. And become a new uh, uh, suburb, I suppose. And we are instead going to harvest this area here. So if we come on to territory, it's going to cost us 550 gold a week. So we'll buy that one and that one. There we go. And then we'll come to paint. No, where is it? Paint. There we go. So we'll leave the extraction here. But we're going to get rid of reforestation here. So is that all of this... Uh, all of this starts to come out and instead we will reforest well actually let's reforest like here move it right to the edge of the city like that let's make it look nice and natural though eh okay so that's the area you're gonna rework maybe not up here actually but over here is probably fine okay and then as far as extraction goes you could basically clear all of this out and I hope they uh, they do a fine job of that so you can start doing that all right, cool. So that's stage one. We'll just start to get some trees shifting. Uh, stage two is 
do the same thing here. Basically, we're going to move uh, this farm, this farm, and this windmill across into this new space as well. We do really need that tree's coverage gone, though. So, see what we'll do regarding extraction. Oops. Is let's just say for a minute at least, can you just get rid? So watch that, cause that's stone there. Just get rid of that. There we go. And we'll see how they get on with that, because once that, because they won't plant over trees. Basically, they won't cut trees down for planting. So we need that area gone, and then we can start moving these farms over. Tavern is coming along, and most of this area is cleared out now, which is pretty good. Um. It seems to be that we're having a problem with clothes right now, though. We can't seem to keep much stock. We have 18 currently, um, but I'm getting a lot of people tell me that they have no access to goods. Now, I suppose the option here is to make another good. Uh, oh, we unlocked a new statue as well. This The Officinal Garden Masterpiece. That might be quite good. We'll probably put that down in the church at some point. Um, but yeah, maybe, maybe we make a different good so because at the moment i think clothes is the only thing we're really doing so we have sheep to weavers to tailors that's right gold smelter we have no gold anywhere yet jewelers workshop we do have we are finding gems but we don't have any gold common wares generates just common wares from tools planks and iron but we need citizens for that uh we are victorious but charge success probability low no bring them back then thank you all. um so yeah we can't actually it's pretty much just clothes or bust right now um Let's just have a look, see if there's another option. Yeah, common wear. Candles. Do we have the ability to make candles? I haven't I haven't seen candles yet. I certainly don't know what we're making them out of, if we are. Common wares. Candle workshop. Produce candles from wax, iron, and tools. Now, it uh, requires 10 citizens. I think the wax is produced by monasteries as well. So, fountain is 10 citizens other trees bridges yeah okay so i yeah at the moment i think probably just upping the cloth uh clothing um, production is probably the way to go i've added a bit onto the church here i'm just going to keep sticking that on eventually i want it to just be this big beachside uh building um but this is mostly cleared out so what we're going to do is we're going to move these three buildings over uh we're going to re uh, use some of this space here for a second clothing setup, and then all of this here is going to become our new, um, a new bit of uh, residential space. So, um, let's think. We haven't got much bread. We need to kind of move bread first. Honestly, it doesn't seem like we're producing much bread. So, where's the bread getting held up? We've got wheat. We've got flour. Hmm. Maybe it's just because of how seasonal it is. Uh, Seven hundred gold. Sixteen bread. Iron. Yeah, that was great. Good, well done, boys. Um, okay, so let's let's move these three things because that that is just what needs to do. So let's go resource production, food production, uh, wheat farm. Let's pop uh, our terrain on for a second and see. So we have two here. Uh, this one goes this way. Ah, that one goes that way. So what we actually need to do is probably get rid of the ones we've we've got here. At least that one. Because we're going to redo the paint the crop field of this one. Okay. And we're going to bring that to there. All right, I reckon that's probably about right for that first one. This one will repaint this. I think, I think they'll keep it for this year. But then uh, next year will not. We'll keep that there. Okay. It really could do with these last few trees being took out. Uh, extraction. Can we just clear all that off? Leave them to it and like, please just go and get these. So I put like two more lumber lumber things in. Yeah. So now we're just a, a field down, unfortunately. But I, I do think it's probably going to have to wait the, the way we do it. Uh, and what we can do is we could build another windmill and put that in here. This has kind of been a dead space for us. Um, it's not the ideal spot for a windmill as far as how they would actually work. But I think it's probably going to be more useful to us that way. Uh, no access to service? No way are these filling up. Oh, 35. Oh, wow, look at that. So we need another church as well. Well, that, that was fine. I was planning to have a church up here anyway. So that'll, that'll make some of these folks sort of ponder off. 
uh, that way. Okay. We need these seven trees cutting down, lady. Let's go. Okay, I didn't take too long. All right, what we're going to do then is we'll leave that area. These will most definitely be uh, cut out. So now we re-add this as the extraction space, including all of this stuff here. But then with the with the regrowing area being higher up, it just, it's just going to eventually give us some more land. Okay. So that's that. They'll have to do a bit of a walk for now until we've completely uh, moved everything. But we're going to have a wheat farm. Um, we're going to have to kind of put these a little further up. Let's have a look. Make sure the doors aren't ridiculous. Yeah, that seems okay. We'll do one there and we'll build that. And we'll have another one probably right next to it, honestly. And were either of those doors accessible now? Yeah, both look fine. Okay, so we'll put them there. This one's going to go. Uh, actually, we might as well let them harvest the wheat at least. Because I think if we get rid of the building, the wheat will all disappear. That's what seemed to happen here. Mm -hmm. And obviously the... Uh, the t sorry, so I'm going to swig a coffee. Uh, obviously the time these take to build is a little slow at the moment because I did sort of get a big old bit of stuff going on here although the tavern is looking awesome not quite done yet but definitely getting there i think uh i do think this needs to be some sort of we can never get rid of this but i do think we could build some sort of statue over the top of it let's have a look at these decorative things once we've got the marble being produced so automated fountain masterpiece gem encrusted cross masterpiece and the official garden masterpiece older recovery speeds increased by two Gain influence and simply through the desirability of an area. So the, this actually would be better suited to somewhere where there's nothing going on, right? Um, no access to service. Are these just literally just filling up? Yeah, they literally are, aren't they? Okay. Well, as soon as this farm is done, I think we throw down a little church up here then. On the hill. Church on the hill. Very sweet. Very cute. That's going to be the way we go there because that's going to give us... Uh, this is going to be a new area that funnels into all of this. Stone, marble and what have you. Um, and then this new area here is going to just basically just be sprawl. This is just urban sprawl really moving here. But all of the foresters and everything will want to come and work over in this area. We're just going to move these camps and the foresters and the camps and the lumberyard just up to the edge of this um, uh, space here. Uh, yeah, and I think that's probably going to be the episode. We'll just finish off these last few bits, and we'll see how it looks. Okay, we're nearly there. I've uh, I moved the fence out to roughly where I want it to be. Like I say, this area is going to be for sheep. Um, so I've moved this area out here to show where the new uh, estate is going to be. Uh, tavern is built. So let's have a look. We can do. Uh, my problem is I worry that we don't actually have. Like, we can assign a cook, but we don't have boar yet. I think we need some more citizens for that. So, I'm actually going to not do that. Sorry. Okay, we don't need a... Because it's just going to keep telling me we haven't got boar. Um, we can do a service counter. Uh, sells tavern resources. Okay. Bartender. Assign resource, wine or beer. So, yeah, we don't actually... We basically have an empty tavern right now. So, what we will do is everything else can be public lounge. Public lounge. This basically just increases the capacity of it once we do sell what we need. So yeah, we kind of built this in the wrong order. I really wanted to build the nice big building. I'm happy it's there. It looks good in the center of town. Um, but it's actually kind of useless right now. Um, what we will do though, what we can do now is get rid of this. Burp, burp. There we go. Um, this space, it basically gives us this area as well. So we have that farm, that farm. Okay, so hold on, let's let's go to paint fields. There we go. Okay, so you are going to go high and tight along here. Alright, there we go. And then you are going to come and fill this gap here it'll be a bit of a smaller field but i'm i'm kind of okay with that there we go and actually we can make this a little bigger as as that uh there we go it gives us four fields maybe this one's a little small um oh that's the wrong one 
Okay. Uh, yeah, maybe this one's a little small. Maybe we can just do that. I don't know whether they'll get up there, but we can try. Bad weather's here. Good. Perfect timing for the thumbnail. Great. Uh, there we go. Okay, we have a big old tavern that's useless, and we have we've moved the four fields into a rather tight space. Um, but it does open up this area and and all of this area as well. Uh, so in the next episode, we'll move the logging out of the city. Uh, we'll probably then expand on this fort because that's the problem. That's the thing we're waiting for at the moment. It's currently providing eight Kingdom Splendor. We need the Kingdom Splendor to be up to 15 so that we can get the Hunter's Hut, which is going to give us the boars that we need. Um... And I and and that's really the main one. But yeah, we need we need the hunter's hut there to make boars, and then we need to build um, a uh, a hop uh, section. We need to make some beer. So I mean, I suppose that could go here. Um, although I think it's going to require fields, isn't it? Let's have a look. Food production. Does it class as food production beer? Yeah, brewery. Hop farm requires hops. Brewery requires wheat, hop, and water. So we might even need to look at up in our wheat we set up as well maybe this way then we have a lot of space over here maybe we add we clear this tree section out and we generate hops and wheat on this side of the tower and that's not a terrible idea actually tell you what just before we go then resources i'm gonna put two lumber camps down here There we go. Sorry, that's going to be in the way a little bit for you. I'm going to clear this area out of trees uh, before the next episode. And then, yes, we will do beer and boar in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Love you all to bits. Till the next one. Be good.